the tail. It looks like a dinosaur. What's up guys, Matt Tolber. So we are going on another adventure. You can see it's raining outside right now. Actually, it was raining harder, but uh, looks like it's dying down a bit. Went and got some firewood. Got this big eight person tent. So we're actually gonna sleep in the tent, but we're gonna be hanging out by the van. Got my new scooter, got a little scooter for Joel. So this should be fun. Got some water here. Um, got my table, coffee maker and all that stuff. I'm about to head to REI and hopefully get like a pop-up fire pit, I think it's called. And then maybe like a bigger pop-up table. That should be sweet. So join me.
buddy Joel will be here pretty soon. We're actually gonna hang out by the van for a while, probably cook some food, have a fire, coffee, whatnot. And then we're gonna hop on these scooters I brought and we're gonna try to do some exploring. And we wanna find a sweet spot to set up. Uh, I brought an eight person tent, so it's a big tent. And we're gonna end up sleeping in the tent tonight. So this will be kind of a combination between van camping and tent camping. So this chair's actually pretty sweet. I saw it at REI and it's like, I want it. It has like these like shocker, like suspension things in the back. So you can actually rock in it. The only thing that I found out the hard way so far is my cup, my, uh, metal cup is pretty short and so like the rim is just like barely above this and since it rocks the water was filled and it spilled a little bit there was already a safe fire pit right here so i was like ah no point in getting it dirty right now busting it open but uh depending on what joel wants to do we may actually bring this by the tent and have another fire out by the tent tonight see so i got two more bundles of wood here this is the big eight person tent and then i got my new scooter from varla the eagle one and then I brought my other older scooter. This isn't really meant for off-roading, but uh, I brought it with, so hopefully Joel can follow me on the pass here. I did bring my Opez power station. This has 992 watt hours of power, and I'm down to 78%. It was pulling, yeah, 700 watts to run 12 cups of coffee I filled it up to because I'm sure Joel wants to have so many gets here. I think it's kind of cool how it combines like three of the biggest brands. It kind of has like a Jackery style case on it where it's just like a real simple handle and it's like the EcoFlow screen, which is a really nice screen. The Bluetti kind of design with the plugs and then the light on the back. Real simple light, it has low, high, and then it's got your SOS. This thing has three AC outlets with the ground plug and you can turn on and off by the press of a button. There's obviously your power button. This is where you charge it from your wall outlet, your solar panels, or else you can charge it from your 12 volt of your car, obviously. If you have something you need to plug in that normally plugs into the car, you can plug it in there. It's got two USB type C's and you got your uh, regular USBs. Is it's really lightweight for having lithium iron phosphate batteries. I think it's like 24 pounds. It also means it's a lot safer and it's gonna last a lot longer. So if you guys wanna check out that Opez power station, I will have a link in the description keeping my water over here because like I said, it's kind of short and it barely fits in that chair. And it like when I was rocking, it was tipping. I think it's time to add a couple logs before this bad boy uh, falls apart here. See if we can do it without knocking it over. Buddy Joel's gonna be showing up here pretty soon. And uh, my next video though, I plan to be solo and I actually got this portable AC and a pretty big power station coming. So that should be fun. I wanna see if I can get nice and cool in the van and I'll let you guys know what it's like. Hopefully I don't see any black bears tonight. I saw black bears the last two times I went camping. One of them was at this state forest and one of them was at another one. Generally bears don't wanna mess with humans, but we gotta be prepared. So I got my bear mace and uh, I don't know if Joel's carrying anything, but we'll find out soon. Guys, it's so peaceful out here right now. Might not be as peaceful when Joel Candy arrives because you know how he is, but it'll be a fun time. We'll do some exploring, do some tent camping. Look at Joel. Guys, I have not seen Joel yet. He's just flying his drone over here. So he must be super close. Look at him. Look at Joel. Well, Mr. Joel Candy has obviously arrived because his, his drone arrived here, so. I have not seen his vehicle yet, but he's obviously just down over here because that's where his drone came from. So we should be seeing him any moment. What's up, buddy? What's up, bro? Bring a lot of stuff? Uh, less than last time, for okay. sure. Hey, at least you don't have your own vehicle this time. You know what I got this time, though? What? This might calm me down a little bit. Look at... <laughs> Sweet. Fidget spinner, dude. Yeah, let me bring that drone down and uh, let's start camping here, huh? Back rocker. Yeah, it's got it's a little rocker. Oh, you can rock in it? Yeah, it's comfy, I've dude. I've never seen a, a, a camping chair you can rock in it. That's Yeah, sick, it's dude. got like little uh, suspension kind of like pumps on it. That's awesome. I like it. Here's my old Blue Eddy EB55. This thing is awesome. Joel bought it from me now and he's uh, charging up his drones and all sorts of stuff with it. I got my controller. I'm going to charge up. I don't 
just finishing up my coffee here. Joel doesn't want any coffee because he's having uh, some kind of pre-workout, right? Pre-workout, dude. Yeah. What's it called? Uh, Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde? <laughs> yeah, dude. It's, 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 I took the Mr. Hyde pre-workout. Uh, it's working for me. I can feel my muscles just getting bigger. Are you ready to go yet? <laughs> my new scooter this is the varla eagle one this thing has 1000 watts in the front 1000 watts in the back total of 2000 watts so has hydraulic brakes on it which is good very much needed for a scooter that goes 40 miles per hour does come with the key you turn that on and then you just hold down the power button and it should turn on here so far i have 22 miles on it not super experienced with it yet so we're going to be going slow because i do not have any safety gear but you can change the mode you can see it's in gear one if you press this again three means it goes to a higher speed i think one only allows you to go to like 15 miles per hour three will like let you go up to 40 miles per hour it's got your single or dual which means if you have it on single it'll just be the front tire if you have it on dual it'll be the front and rear tire then it has eco or turbo so obviously eco is if you don't want to accelerate super fast and then if you press it again it'll go turbo which is basically its fastest speed it has a little bell on it here uh not too aggressive but uh does the job i guess it comes with four grip tapes i put this colorful one on here but there's also one that's kind of like a, i think like an american flag or whatever i think looks pretty sweet so i'll probably eventually put that one on here and this is where you rest your foot because you definitely want one foot on this thing because this thing is torquey has massive suspension on the front and back got a little Little kickstand keeps it seated pretty well i'm gonna go try to ride a little bit on these dirt roads here it does not have off-road tires currently so i gotta be pretty careful i'm not sure if it's on fast mode or not but we'll find out oh god <laughs> Got some good suspension on it. I can't even feel the bumps, honestly. These aren't their off-road tires. These are more like their street tires, but I actually have some off-road tires coming, so I should be able to uh, carve it up a lot better on these back roads once I get those. And I also have like a little light coming and then like a little carrying pack to carry like my phone and like simple things with. I do kind of have it on a fast mode right now, so I gotta be a little careful when I get moving. But like I said, you can turn it down. You can turn the torque down or the top speed or whatever you want. So it is pretty safe. This has a 330 weight capacity. So even if uh, you're in the 200 pounds, you should be able to carry like a backpack or something with you. It does have a light on it. You just hold it down for a second and then it, it shows you a little light thing. And then you should be able to see the lights down there. And then you should be able to see my brake lights. Let me go by and see if you can see the brake lights. Segway 9 bot. This is an older scooter I've had for a while now. Uh, it's now basically my daughter's scooter, but it actually has a pretty uh, decent sized battery. So this thing will go quite a few miles. Obviously, it doesn't have much suspension on this thing. Uh, it's got a little bit in the back and then a little tiny bit in the front. These tires are definitely not meant for off roading, but Joel is uh, going to try it out. We're going to go slow. We'll see how that thing handles. Go drive that quick and let's see if uh, it can even handle these roads. Oh, well, you got it turned on. So it's got full charge. Uh, it's in actually the fast mode. So all you do is just press down on that to go, and then this should be brake. It's like a kickstart, and then it should go.
It's not made for off-roading. The wheels are like spinning and stuff, and there's some deep sand over there. Oh yeah. He's having trouble. This, like it kind of works. Joel tried this Varla Eagle One. Um, he's newer to scooters, but he has had some... Uh, much of a novice on it. A novice can He's a novice on a scooter, so if he can do it, anybody can do it. Motorcycle helmet, safety first. Just in case I spill, but I don't think I will. Be yeah, fine. we don't want you hitting your head, rip bro. It too hard. Get used to the touchy throttle. It just takes a little bit of practice. You have to put your foot on the back so that you don't go flying over the back. That Segway scooter only has front wheel drive, so it makes it a lot harder to get traction, obviously. But for off roading and stuff like that, having front and rear drive is what you want. <laughs> started walking towards an area that looks really sweet from the drone shots it's like smaller pine trees and there's a lot of opening and stuff so very close to where that black bear was uh, when I camped another time so I'm gonna hop on the scooter catch up real quick <laughs> This is kind of the area that we were looking at. It's not that far at all. There's all these smaller pines and uh, very open right here. So we just obviously would want to go back farther into those pines. Well, there is some pretty sweet spots back here, but it is kind of bumpy. They call it sand dunes for a reason. There's like sand hills all over. So uh, Joel actually wants to go check out this other sweet spot. It has really creepy trees that were like planted in lines. And I have a feeling we're gonna see some animals eyes over there tonight. So uh, we're gonna actually probably bring, go back to the car, put the scooter away. snapping turtle buddy not, not gonna mess with you look at him look at me he looks prehistoric that i don't oh he's looking at you oh yeah he'll snap snapping sure. turtle i'm not getting too close to him yeah he's, dude, he's he ready look at his claws dude that's crazy looking look at the tail it looks like a dinosaur We'll leave Mr. Turtle alone. I hopefully he doesn't get hit, but I'm not grabbing him. That's a snapping turtle, so he looks like he's got a hard shell. I don't think he'd get hurt. Well, I think we're at the other sweet spot here. I haven't been over here in a while, so we'll find out in a minute. Well, we're about to eat because we are hungry and uh, we don't want to carry everything to the tent tonight. It's going to be a lighter load to the tent, hopefully. So we're about to eat and then we'll go uh, head out there with our tent set up and we should have a epic night i'm gonna make some uh, indian cuisine indian cuisine yeah it's already pretty much made it's pretty simple but i think you'll like it got indian bombay potatoes it's got chickpeas and a zesty tomato sauce got a lot of spices really good throw that in there And then we got Indian Jaipur vegetables. It's got paneer cheese. It's really good with more spices and some cashews. Throw that in there with it. See some green beans and peas. Mm. Let that simmer, it's already cooked. And then I got put uh, vinegar and olive oil with the rice. Made a whole bunch so we can just snack on this rice.
love rice. Perfect trout in the woods. these window shades on quick just because the van is obviously going to be sitting here overnight we're in the tent and uh, you never know who comes scoping around and there's a lot of expensive stuff in there so i'm gonna put this on quick got the window shades on now we are about to grab our backpacks and this big large tent and head out to our spot as you can tell i need some more energy you know so what do you want an energy drink dude oh, okay <laughs> i get it thank you sir Bing Blue, vitamin V, vitamin C, caffeine, ginseng beverage, All I care about blueberry, is the and flavin and the caffeine. Oh, splash me! <laughs> it's delicious. Cheers, bro. Just having a couple energy drinks before we head out. I think these are a little bit healthier. Rip it in. Ring, ring, That's gonna be us next summer. Is it going to be me with the pink on holding on to you in the back? That's Is that fine. me? That works. <laughs> Bring in my comfortable sleeping pad right now. If it was really far, I wouldn't want to carry it. But since it's like half a mile walk, it's definitely worth it. It has the straps on it, so it'll make it perfect. Going to take that tent with Joel, and then we'll come back and grab our backpacks, and then we'll have everything out there. Well, since the last time I've been in this area, obviously all of the grass and the weeds and all that have grown. So this is kind of open, but the tent's really big. So I think we're going to come back here and try to clear this up and then set the tent up here. Well, we actually found a better spot. Look at these woods tonight. It's going to be sweet looking for eyes with a flashlight. There's already a massive fire pit right here and we got some wood. This is much flatter. We got plenty of areas to put out here. So I think we're going to set the tent up over here. It's just real. We're not going to feel too good on that sunburn. You want your clothes too, right? <laughs> oh! So here it is so far. This is an eight by eight person tent. Ground's not perfectly flat, but it's like there's some air under there. Hopefully we'll get that out. Yeah, we will. But we have plenty of room. This thing has like a little battery thing you can plug in and there's like lights in here and also a speaker. So that'll be pretty sweet tonight. We're gonna get some rain in the morning. So we're gonna actually put the top on this tent. This comes with this big like battery pack thing. I put like four big D batteries in there. Obviously it's better just to use a power bank, but I'm already using my power bank for my GoPro. so. We're gonna light it up with this tonight. It has this little button. I think you just press it. You can see the lights are on, but I think there's dim levels. That's level three, and then off, obviously.
Well, I got my bed set up. Thankfully, I got a nice high cot, so I don't have to worry about uh, a hilly area. Got my little frizz cool fan, a little table, which I'll be using later. Got a little lantern. And I do have a dry food here, chicken and mashed potatoes. Then I brought my burner and whatnot to boil water, and I have some Insta coffee and stuff. Nice. And I don't want to have to worry about it tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, we can go back and get coffee, but. This chair is so comfortable right now. I got my little frizz cool fan on high. Got this little organic tea drink, some ice cold water. Got a little speaker. We're probably gonna listen to a little music. Joel's chilling in my other chair. Cheers, bro. Cheers, let's do it. Cheers. Bro, oh. how long have we known each other? Over probably. 20 years. Oh yeah, probably close to 30 getting up yeah. there. Cause I, I knew At you were like, like seven or eight. Yeah. So at over 25 for sure. About to start a fire here pretty soon. Just probably let it get a little bit darker here. The sun's starting to go down. He's having trouble standing up. About as good as a fire pit you're gonna get out in the wild. Yeah. It's like a deep hole. And I know. Somebody dug a hole and then they there I saw more of these cinder blocks over there. There must have been a structure around here. This chair's pretty sweet. It's got like a little phone spot. Obviously it's got a cup holder here. Turn this fan back on here. About to have some s'mores here in a minute. I just want to have my <laughs> s'mores. Drop that plastic. Line it up. Holy it's mama. It's going to be a big fire, dude. Tastes good. Mmm. It's got a different taste to it. Because of the white chocolate. This like white chocolate is actually super good. I might actually like this better than regular chocolate. White chocolate in the woods. You know, when I was back in high school, someone some people used to call me white chocolate. Well guys, it is now dark as you can see. A little light is my GoPro for tonight. Let's put this thing on bright. Two, three, four. Oh my God. Look at these crazy woods we're in. Crazy. Shh. 
Dude, I can see so far here, guys. I'm gonna try to use my like pinpoint light and see how far we can see down there. So far, no eyes. Wow, I see so far. I don't know what the uh, camera's picking up here. But like, I see really far. Joel's setting up his cot in there, I can tell. Time to head inside. Well, we got we got my two battery operated ones and this is like the rechargeable one. This one's on pretty bright here. So we can see pretty good in here right now. So excited for my uh, three inch pad here. Got my little Nemo pillow. I can basically make it as thick as I want, which is really good for like a side sleeper. Then I got my uh, summer sleeping bag. The only thing bad about this tent is this like rain fly is not actually connected <laughs> to this tent. So bugs can get up there. And obviously we have lights up there. So there's like tons of bugs you'll see like up there. Like look at. So it's kind of gross, but I mean, they can't get to us. We just got to look at them, unfortunately. So I had this flashlight on and this one on high gets really hot. It was up against my sleeping bag. It started burning my sleeping bag. Wow, rest in peace sleeping bag. storms early Dude, is it gonna work? had this before this uh chicken mashed potato dinner it's really good just basically it's like blended up mashed potatoes and chicken like some mush but it's actually pretty good looks like it's got uh 450 calories in here so. i hear something dude what it's a that? huge june bug out here Is it? it's somewhere over here he's trying to get in Turn the lights off, dude. Turn the lights off, bro. Yeah. Joel's playing like predator calls. Dude, We're like in the off. middle of nowhere right now. <laughs> Look at this. Whoa, that bug's huge, bro. Joel wants to call predators while we're sitting in here. We can barely see out the screen. Yeah, I'm okay with that, dude. It'll be fine. I need to shut this off. You just push him up. Push it up. Push it up. Yep. Oh. Still a nightlight, but you hold it up to the screen, I can see. I can hear something in those thick brush right there. Heading out of here. Whoa, guys, Joel's way over there. Got my headlamp on. We got the predator calls going. I can hear it really good out here. 
Joel's got my bright flashlight. Guys, these trees look crazy at night. I know animals definitely hear that. I'm sure they see our lights, obviously, but we're just having fun here, guys. We're not like hunting or anything. We're just having fun, seeing if we can see anything. Good job, way down there. Well guys, our uh, flashlights went out, so we're just gonna have to find our way with this Zippo lighter. Bugs are out. You can tell the wind's starting to pick up a little bit more. That means those storms are definitely getting closer. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Get off TikTok, bro. Good. Good morning guys, just having a little hazelnut coffee right now. We got some light rain outside. Slept okay, it's kind of humid and warm in here. Um, only slept for a few hours. Just kind of packing up right now. Joel wants to get home early today, so we're probably gonna have coffee back at the vehicle um, and just pack up and we'll probably head out of here.
Well, while this is brewing, we're gonna go get our tent, packed it up, and then we'll have everything back at the van and we'll enjoy a little cup of coffee and then we'll probably head home. Still got some light rain going on right now. Nothing crazy. Out of there. Ooh, look at this spider. Thing's massive. Oh, it's going towards Joel. Oh god, you have a full watch There's a little that's bit more fun. left. That's fine. Withdraw. Well, the rain's almost completely stopped. It's just light mist right now. A lot of mosquitoes out here, so uh not very comfortable. That's why I put my hoodie on here. I don't plan to do too much more tent camping. I'm more into like van camping right now. It's just easier and uh, more comfortable. Definitely got pretty dirty from that tent. Well, dude, tent camping has been fun. Uh, it sucks that it's raining a little bit, but having coffee with my buddy is pretty fun. And fun. Matt's, look at, he's got a full setup here. It's pretty crazy. Got a full Mr. Coffee coffee pot off of his uh, big power supply. All right, guys. Well, we're just uh, having a little coffee at the van. We're all packed up here. We're all dirty, ready to go home and take a shower. Um, this will be my first sip of this. A little strong. Definitely strong, but uh, tastes better than hazelnut stuff I just had. The rain's almost gone now. We're out here by ourselves. Us, nature, and a lot of mosquitoes. So, um, did you have fun, Joel? Yeah, it was awesome. I like uh, being out in nature. It's just a really awesome stress reliever. Yeah, so sometimes you get a little dirty, do a little hard work when you come out here. I had some fun, Joel had some fun, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.